Before I start the interview, I create a database which contains a list of potential informants that fits with the criteria of my study. This database consists of personal data like name, affiliation, current position, link to their LinkedIn account, and email address. I use this database as my progress tracker. But also, when I'm starting an interview, I always ask and record the name, affiliation, and current position of the interviewee. For me, there are three aspects that I believe are important. The first one is the informed consent. I need to ensure that I sufficiently inform my respondents about what I'm going to do with the data. In my case, I always ask for their consent to record the interview at the beginning. I also inform them that the recording will be transcribed and will be sent back to them for their approval. More importantly, I assure them that the transcription will be used only for research purposes and nothing else. Second, it is important that the personal data I collect is securely stored and is deleted as soon as I don't need it anymore for the analysis. And the third aspect is anonymization. For instance, when I transcribe the interviews, I have to anonymize confidential data that appears in the recording, such as company name. It is important to keep any personal data, such as name, gender, year of birth, etc., separately from the data that will be analyzed. To do that, I'm making a unique ID for each transcript that is used when analyzing the data. So I can correlate with the personal data, but I don't risk disclosing confidential information. 